This is Mark Spencer from Ripple Training with a quick tip on how to use the shutter and flash effect in the optics package. So uh, you may have already seen this if you've watched any of the viewfinder tutorials, we touch on the V shutter flash effect, but I wanna cover one extra step here. Uh, you can use it alone. You don't need to use it in combination with the viewfinder effect. For instance, here we have the viewfinder effect along with the shutter effect. Uh, this clip, let's just use the shutter effect alone. So what I'll do is I'll go to a point where I want to take the picture, let's say right there. I'll press Shift H for a hold frame. Trim back the extra part of the clip. And then scroll down to, uh, in the Titles browser, in Ripple Optics, down to the V shutter flash effect, select it and hit Q. Now if we play that back, we've got a simple shutter effect. If we want to add a sound effect to it, I'll move the play to the beginning. You can use our shutter effect that we supply you can just stick it in your event browser, or if you go to the music and sound browser and search on shutter, you can find a camera shutter sound there or download one from the internet. Press Q and then play that. So there's a quick way to use it without using one of the viewfinders. One option here, this is a dark room. You might have used a flash for this shot, although not likely because she's lit pretty well, but if you did want to use a flash, if you select it and go to the title inspector, there's a use flash checkbox. If we enable that, then instead of the shutter, we get a flash effect. And that is all there is to using the shutter effect. Oh, by the way, you can make it go faster by trimming this down or slower by extending it out.